It's something that isn't always brought up in daily conversation. And when was the last time you thought about your sinus health? From headaches to that stuffy clogged head, your sinuses can turn a great day into a miserable one. So to get your sinuses flowing in the right direction, let's join Dr. Todd Austin. He'll show you how to take care of those sinuses. Dr. Austin. The other day I had a mother that brought her four-year-old in. He was suffering from some sinus issues and she just said, Dr. Austin, can you check him out? I think something's wrong with his neck because I don't really want to take him to the MD and get him put on antibiotics. So we adjusted the little guy's neck. Um, he had a couple of subluxations or pinched nerves. And last I talked to her, he was doing just fine. So those things happen on a regular basis in a chiropractic office. So if you weren't aware that chiropractic could help out with sinus problems, whether it's a child, whether it's an adult, please talk to your chiropractor about this. Now I'd also like to tell you about some other holistic things you can do besides getting your chiropractic care regularly to help out with your sinus health. One of those is what we call a sinus rinse kit or a neti pot. There's two different options here. Uh, the sinus rinse kit or the neti pot, either one of those can be found at a local pharmacy. And I know it sounds kind of gross, but and actually the first few times you do it, I'll admit it's kind of weird. But what you actually do is you take a, a bottle, you put warm water in it, warm distilled water, and what you do is you put a saline packet in there, and then you squirt it up one nostril, it comes out the other nostril. It goes up one nostril, goes through the sinuses, and comes out the other side. So like I said, sounds kind of gross at first, feels kind of weird the first few times, but after you've done it a few times, you will most likely notice, like I have and like many of my patients have, that it really is beneficial for keeping your sinuses healthy between adjustments. Other things that we can do for sinus health, a, an herb, and the herb is called Echinacea purpura, which you might know as the purple coneflower. I know I have purple coneflowers growing in my backyard. But the standardized extract of Echinacea purpura is what you would want to get. And this, some chiropractors carry that in their office, or you could find that at a, at a health food store. So Echinacea purpura, the Germans have done a lot of research on this, and in fact there are over 200 clinical trials that have proved the standardized extract of Echinacea is very effective for both acute sinus problems and chronic sinus problems. In fact, most German medical doctors would be more prone to prescribe Echinacea standardized extract to their patients than they would the typical antibiotic that we get here in the U.S. Vitamin C is also something that's very beneficial for sinus health. In fact, Linus Pauling, many years ago, Dr. Linus Pauling did the initial research on this, and what he found was that if we were suffering from any kind of upper respiratory infection or we felt the first symptom of it coming on, we could take large doses of vitamin C and a lot of times it would really nip it in the bud. So what he proposed is we take 2,000 to 4,000 milligrams or 2 to 4 grams of a good quality vitamin C. The next thing that would be beneficial are zinc lozenges. In fact, the research on this has shown that if we take two zinc lozenges a day while we're suffering from some kind of an upper respiratory problem such as sinusitis, that it will decrease the amount of time it takes to get over the, the infection. So zinc lozenges can be very beneficial and these typically could be found at a pharmacy or at a health food store. Now other things that we want to do as far as to keep our sinuses healthy, one would be to avoid pasteurized cow's milk. Now I know most of you probably drink milk on a daily basis and I'll admit that this was one of my problems. When I first went to a chiropractor at the age of 21, I did not have any back pain, I did not have any neck pain, I just had sinus problems. And I'd had sinus problems since I was a little kid. My parents didn't know any better because they didn't know about chiropractic. But finally at the age of 21, I went to a chiropractor for my sinus problems. And he said, we're going to do three things here. We're going to avoid cow's milk because I was drinking a half a gallon of cow's milk a day. And it's a mucus former, but I didn't realize that until he taught me that. He also told me, we're going to adjust your neck because he would found a couple of pinched nerves in my cervical spine, my neck area. And he also told me about using the right kind of pillow, which I'll get into a little later, a chiropractic pillow. 
So by doing these three things, my sinus problems were a thing of the past in about two and a half to three weeks. So that was pretty amazing. Just by avoiding cow's milk, using the right kind of pillow, and getting my neck adjusted by a chiropractor. Now another thing that we would want to do if we are having an upper respiratory problem like sinus problems is to drink plenty of water on a daily basis. Really we need to be drinking 8 to 12 glasses of water if we have anything like that going on because it's going to help us to get over it a lot quicker as well. Now I know some people and some patients look at me and say, oh my god, you can't be serious. 8 to 12 glasses of water a day, how am I going to do that? Well. What I recommend to a lot of my patients, if they don't want to count glasses or count bottles of water all day, is to just take a 2 liter soda bottle or a 64 ounce juice bottle, fill that thing up with water, and just basically carry it around with you all day until it's empty. And that would be 8 glasses right there. So that way you don't have to worry about counting and keeping track of little tick marks. I mean, it just makes it a lot easier. That's, that's what I do if I, if I need to be drinking that much water. So a couple of other things we can do. Most chiropractors carry chiropractic or cervical neck pillows and these tend to help out with sinus problems because when we're sleeping on a cervical pillow or a chiropractic pillow it just helps to keep our neck in a better alignment while we're laying there sleeping for six to eight hours. So a lot of times we will wake up and the sinuses will be doing a lot better. Now to give you an example, I've been using a chiropractic pillow now for 22 years, but I will admit there's a few times where I went on a trip, stayed at a hotel, and darn it if I didn't forget my cervical pillow, my chiropractic pillow. So what happened? I wound up sleeping on a big fat hotel pillow. I woke up the next morning with, you guessed it, sinus problems. So once I get back home, start using my chiropractic pillow, the sinus problems tend to go away. And the last thing, really one of the most important things to keep your sinuses healthy is to see your chiropractor regularly, get your neck checked by your chiropractor, make sure it's in proper alignment because we do know that the pinched nerves or subluxations in the upper neck, those nerves actually go back up into the head and can definitely affect the sinuses.